All right, back at the uh, Oriental again. And I was going to do the bulkheads and try to sheet the top of this and said the hell with it. So I ended up getting a piece of uh, half inch, nice light piece of balsa scrap head kicking around. Turned out to be just the right length to go up to this cross member here. So I just sanded it to shape. It took a little while. And I uh, took my uh, job mate. It's not a Dremel. Cheap version of a Dremel. And uh, hollowed it all out. And you can see what happens when your uh, disc, sanding disc, explodes. So I ended up having to glue a patch in there. So, uh, yeah, I got that done. Fits on the top there pretty nice. And uh, I'm not going to glue that down just yet. I'm going to wait. I'll have to put another section in here. I'm going to make two more blocks for the nose. The one that goes over here is going to be uh, and the nose is going to be hollowed out and glued in place. Um, the kit gives you bulkheads and I also cut the bottom piece out for the wing to fit in. I'll sheet that later. They give you uh, all the bulkheads and stuff you need to where you can find them. To, uh, do your conversion so the uh, instructions are a little rough but once you get into it and read back just keep reading the edge you'll you get on to what they want but there's your hatches anyway they get the little tab so you muckle onto it and then your Dell you glue these on to your cover for here and then they got some kind of latch and that should fit in there. Well, I think I might use magnets. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, there's lots of dust from hogging out that uh, deck. So we're getting there. And in fact, I've been doing blocks. You see I already sheeted the, the bottom in. I made a plywood plate. That's glued inside. I doubt if you're gonna actually get a little light here. You see inside I just glued that in there. And I put my drilled the hole and put the landing gear in and I put these two pieces of plywood on either side. So you get a nice strong landing gear mount and then later on I'll I'll glue that sucker in there. And that'll be in there good and strong. So I also added this piece here. That's like a bulkhead. I might cut a hole in there just for lighting it up. I didn't bother at the front yet. I probably will. I'll probably stick a piece in there as well. Then you got, you know, the bottom of the the uh, fuselage glued back in. I'll probably epoxy it in, and that'll make a good solid addition to the wing joint. Got a few little necks and things to fill. When I fix these I usually fill them in with soft balsa. Just sand it flat, glue the piece in, then sand it square. That's usually how I deal with those. Another thing I got to do is put a plywood uh, landing gear mount. Uh, the original airplane had uh, wire gear. I thought about doing that. Then they used J bolts to bend it in. This firewall is, or this bulkhead is open, so there's no where to put the J bolts. Plus it's I think the aluminum's going to be lighter. And I don't really want to go to town on this airplane. Like everything I've been using is wood I picked up here and there. Like the, the sheeting's kind of hard, a little bit heavy. I don't know what it's going to weigh in at. But I will be covering it with yellow monochrome. Maybe black, I don't know, we'll see. So, uh, it's getting there. I just glued the uh, top deck on. There's a smidgen overlap on the sides, which is good. And I sanded everything flush. And 
just uh, re-rounding the sides with some 220. I think it is, yeah, 220. I used 80 grit just to knock her down. And you may be able to see it's a bit flat there. Because I already pre-shaped it, but then when I made her match the fuselage, a bit of a flat spot. Which is not hard to get rid of. But if you roll your sanding block like I was there, it'll be no problem. Just try not to over sand it. Just make both sides the same. We're good to go. And that's another reason I didn't hog out too much on the inside. So I know I was going to have to do this. So she's good and rigid now. And now, uh, as you can see, I got the landing gear on. So I just took a piece of plywood. I use marine ply. I got lots of that kicking around, some scrap. I use triangle stock just to beef it up. Um, I'm using the screws that came with the ARF. Put another little block of uh, wood in there to, just to give that screw something extra to bite on. Put the drill the holes. Did two more blocks in the front, of course. Only three screws hold that on. Uh, screwed them in, took them out. Hit them with thin CA, let it harden up, screw them, screwed that on, it's on there good and tight. Um, but uh, thin CA is great for uh, doing up uh, threads some wood. It's awesome stuff for that. Well, finally he wandered up to the nose, took the gear off, of course. Um, just using uh, soft balsa, I think this is about quarter inch. I already measured it. Yeah, quarter inch thick, soft stuff. Again, just a bunch of scrap head kicking around. Picked up here and there. And uh, making up the nose looks like shit, you know, right now. But the idea here, build it up a little bit. And then, uh, just adding a little piece there to make that fit. Just like that. Then I'll start chomping it all down. And start getting the shape of the uh, nose for the airplane. And I'll just do a quick rough carving on it. Cut the motor in it and uh, cut it all. The opening's all taped off so I don't get sanding dust and everything in there. So, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta do. Take her down rough with a knife or you can use a razor plane, whatever you want. Okay, I, uh, started chewing away at the top here. I put the uh, propeller shaft on and then I put the spinner on and I put the ring in behind the spinner and that uh, allowed me to mark out exactly where that spinner ring needs to be. Okay, and I just uh, glued her in place and now I'm uh, rough shaping the uh, nose block here. So, again, get this thing up here a bit. There you go. Not much to her. It's uh, got to be a little careful. I'm using 80 grit, so I'm just, uh, just barely necking this firewall because you don't want to chew through the yeah, that's actually the firewall bulkhead. And I'm just kind of getting the shape of that first. And then I'll start tapering my way into the into the uh, nose ring here. Spinner ring. So she's coming along. Probably should have showed you the before and after here, but there we go. These uh, bulkheads come with a lightly etched line. I think you can probably just make it out there. 
I snipped it off around there. It gives you the lower deck height for the top that the uh, is Oriental has. And it's pretty much bang on because like I said I copied a lot of this off the uh, the plans of a kit I have for the Oriental. This is a conversion kit from Brodak. The instructions I found to be a bastard to follow. But then again this is my first built up airplane with electric. So the kit itself as far as the wood nut goes it's awesome. I got nothing bad to say about it. Uh, the Brodak Arf, obviously, I got nothing, not much good to say about it. <laughs> Although it has lent me the uh, opportunity to convert one of these planes to electric, see how it works. Um, like I said, everything else, the, the tail feathers and the wing and flaps are all off the ARF and uh, this uh, working out pretty I'm actually really enjoying doing this the landing gear is from the ARF, the uh, kit has wire gear, the tail gear, all that stuff's from the uh, ARF and uh, picked this shirt up off Facebook, pretty good it's from the good, the bad and the ugly, I like that <laughs> yeah. anyway I have to save that for one of my gun videos. So uh, yeah, so what I end up doing is I. You want to get a pair of these things. They're uh, these are benchmark. I got them from uh, uh, Home Hardware, I think. And they're uh, kind of like a big, big ass razor and a base plate on them. And buddy, you want to. Make short work of plywood instead of screwing around with a knife or even a bandsaw. I trim it real close with that thing following the line that's etched on this plywood. And uh, I'm in business. And uh, I use the 80 grit paper. I just replaced this. And. Uh, You're done in no time. Now they got this neat little slot. There's a hatch. I mean everything's clearly marked. I'll give them that. There's your hatch tab. That's going to fit in here. You glue that in there. This is going to get glued to this half inch block I already got cut out. You got the tab. And that fits in to a slot right here in the firewall. So you put this tab assembly together. It's not going to stick out that far, but I'll hollow this out a bit underneath. You glue that on, and then your that'll fit right in there. Pretty slick. And on the back. They tell you you can either use magnets, and they even get the friggin' holes cut here. Let's try putting this in here. View. There we go. I'm gonna have to. I'll edit that out. So you got a little hole here, and they tell you what kind of latch you can buy. It's like a spring-loaded latch that'll go into the hole on the bulkhead, or magnets. I think I'm probably going to go with the magnet. So what I'm going to do now is glue these plywood pieces on here and uh, shape it up, carve it up. Lots of carving these old kits and I hear people complain about it. But you know what? I actually like it. I enjoy carving things up and giving it a nice shape.